incubator out of an old freezer. So I finally found one. I was looking for a bigger one and here it is. Uh, it's a Frigidaire model. Very nice. Uh, good size. Um, I picked it up from a guy that I know. He, the compressor went bad on it. So uh, here it is. I've already taken out the compressor and I've cleaned it up a little bit. Um, so I'm not going to show you the compressor part that I took out. but. I mean, it's, it's very simple to do basically around the back side here. Um, the compressor is down in there. I went ahead and took that out already. It's very simple to take out four bolts. You have to cut the lines. Uh, make sure when you cut the lines that uh, nothing comes dripping out all over you. Have a towel ready because sometimes it does drip out a little bit. Take that out, clamp everything off, and tape it up a little bit. And uh, this particular model is real nice because it has it has a fan built into the inside of it and it draws air in from the bottom and circulates it around the whole entire incubator so I don't have to worry about putting uh, putting a, a fan inside this unit because it already has one so it's very nice good size it has uh, uh, let's see one two three four five I, I've got five shelves in there it actually has six but I left that uh, middle section out because I'm going to go ahead and use bigger, the bigger boxes on that shelf there. I could double stack them. But uh, I got to install the, uh, the heat tape in the back and the temperature probe. Uh, it's going to be very simple. This is a very simple job to do. Basically, like I said, you, you get your old freezer, you wash it up real good, take the compressor out of the bottom of it, and uh, you basically just have to drill a hole. I'm not sure where I'm going to drill it at this point, but you drill a hole for access for your uh, power cord for your heat tape and you run it along the back. I, I've ran it along the back side. Some people run it on the sides. I guess you could do it either way. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'll probably run it along the back side. I'm not sure yet. I'm waiting for the tape to come in. And then you just uh, drill a hole in the top, drop your probe down into the center of it. And uh, there you go. You have it. And uh, I'll probably put water bottles in the door to kind of retain some of the heat and uh, I will show you guys when I install the tape. All right, and at this point I've drilled a hole in the back of the refrigerator. Two inch was the uh, smallest hole saw I had. I couldn't find my smaller one. So not to worry though, I've got a solution to close it off. After I run the cord through there for the heat tape, I'm going to tape uh, some aluminum foil tape on the back of it and then I'm going to fill it with the expanding foam and then tape the inside. So it's going to be just like insulation all the way through and through. So uh, that's the hole for the uh, power cord for the heat tape to go through and I'll be back and show you how I install the right, heat I've tape. installed the, uh, the heat tape there inside the refrigerator around the freezer there and uh, you can see I just used small pieces of aluminum foil tape running up along the edges. Don't get carried away with the aluminum foil tape because if you ever have to remove the, t the heat tape uh, it makes it easier if you just have little pieces like that going up and down. But I basically uh, contoured it to the to the back of the freezer. Um, and then if you could see here on this uh, hole, what I did was is I made like a little template and I taped it to the back to hold the cord in the center of that hole. And then I'm going to fill it in in my next step with some of the uh, expanding foam. And then I'll shave it down and it'll be just like new. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that step and then I'll come back and show you All that. Alright, I went ahead and filled in the hole that I created to put the cord through. Filled it with that foam and it works really good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cap off the vent holes that you see up there at the top. Not cap them off, but put the cover back on it. And then all I have to do is drill a hole in the top of the refrigerator in the center and uh, mount the thermostat. Drop the probe down through the hole and I'm going to have it come down to about the middle, uh, about the middle of the freezer install the shelves back in there and uh, we'll be good to go on this one so it's really a simple process you're gonna take out the uh, the guts from the bottom you leave the fan in there if it comes with the fan uh, you're gonna wash it up nice and clean put your heat tape in there and your thermostat and basically it's a insulated box that works perfect for an incubator and I hope this little video tutorial kinda helped you out I know it wasn't a an absolute uh, live you know instruction but step-by-step -step process very easy to do uh, hopefully you find it help uh, helpful and uh, that's all later